had a lovely Christmas if that's something you celebrate and if not of course I hope you've had a lovely time either way. Today I want to show you two canapes both vegan of course that are perfect for New Year's or any other special occasion or get together and the first one's gonna be some roasted sweet potato discs with whipped cream cheese and a really yummy sweet maple a little bit spicy seed crisp and then the second one is gonna be a mushroom pate so a vegan mushroom pate with lots of savory flavor on some crackers it sounds very simple and it is and it's delicious and it's definitely worth a spot in this video I've also revamped a recipe on my blog that goes very much in line with this video so I'll make sure to link that down below it's for some courgette roll-ups that has a little bit of like a lasagna vibe but they are raw so it's uh, cashew cheese and a walnut mince with some fresh basil and sprouts and I roll them up and they look really lovely so if you want another idea I'll make sure to link that down below but let's start with the sweet potato so let's go to make roughly 16 canapes I'm using two medium sized sweet potatoes or around 500 grams and I've cleaned them before and patted them dry and now I'm just slicing them up into one centimeter thick slices and I usually keep the ends for some other recipe. Then I transfer the rounds into a bowl, I drizzle them with one tablespoon of olive oil and I season with one teaspoon of mixed herbs as well as salt and then I just toss them in the bowl to cook. Coat. Once they are nicely coated, I transfer them to a lined baking tray and I spread them out in a single layer. And then they're ready to roast for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius fan assisted. While the sweet potatoes roast and the oven is on, I'm going to prepare the seed crisp that goes on top. So I'm combining two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds with two tablespoons of sunflower seeds and two tablespoons of sesame seeds. I'm using black ones here. And then I also add in one teaspoon of Aleppo chili pepper flakes and I season with salt before I toss it all together and mix it well. Now what binds the seeds together is one tablespoon of maple syrup. So I pour that in and I mix it through the seeds until they are thoroughly coated. Then I transfer the seed mixture onto a lined oven safe dish and I spread them out into more or less a single layer using the back of my spoon. I toast these seeds in the oven with the sweet potato for about 5 to 8 minutes or until they are slightly golden. In the meantime I whip up my vegan cream cheese and I'm using 100 grams worth here and whipping it with an electric whisk like this just gives it a much lighter and fluffier texture and only takes a couple of minutes. When the seeds are done I just take them out the oven and I fluff them up a little bit like this and leave them to cool. And once the sweet potatoes are cooled as well I then transfer them to a serving dish so that I can prepare the canapes. Firstly I spread about 2 teaspoons worth of vegan cream cheese that I've just whipped fluffy onto each sweet potato round and I like to use the back of my spoon to do this. Once the seeds have cooled they will have stiffened up like this so that you can break off shards and I'm going to add one shard onto each canapé but if they break up small just add little clusters on there that's cool too. Finally I'm going to garnish with some fresh thyme leaves which of course adds a nice herby flavor but also just makes them look really lovely I think. So these are the sweet potato canapes that I'm sure will impress any guests. So those are my roasted sweet potato canapes and I really like the sweet flavor of them. They also have a little bit of a spicy kick in the seeds and then you have the creamy cream cheese creamy cream cheese that just gives it that more luxurious mouthfeel and they are a little bit on the sweeter side but I still think they make a perfect starter or canapé for a party. But now let's move on to the mushroom pate and first we're just going to chop up some stuff so let's do that. First up I've got half of a slim leek or about 75 grams and as you can see I've cut it open to clean any dirt between the layers and then I'm just gonna slice it thinly lengthways and then chop it finely on the other end. For 
this I'm also using shallots. So I've got two shallots here or about 75 grams again and I'm just gonna chop that finely as well. And these two aromatics bring lots of flavor to the pate. And once they're all chopped finely like this I'm going to saute them and I'm using vegan butter for this recipe about four tablespoons and that sounds a lot but it's really just part of making pate. It needs that fatty richness. So I melt the butter and then I add my shallots and my leek to the pan. I season with salt and I saute this for about five, six minutes or until it softens. While the shallots and leek soften in the pan, I'm going to chop up the leaves from one sprig of rosemary finely and add that to the pan towards the end of the sautéing of the leeks and shallots. So as you can see here, they've gone really soft and vibrant and I'm adding in the rosemary and I'm going to allow this to now sauté for a couple more minutes while I prepare the mushrooms. I'm using 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms for this recipe and I've cleaned them and then I break them into the bowl of a food processor with an S blade and then I just pulse them a couple of times to make them into like a mince like texture. You don't want it to turn into mush though so be careful. It should look something like this when it's ready. Now I add the minced mushrooms to the pan and I'm going to saute this over medium heat with a pinch of salt until the mushrooms have released all their liquid and it's evaporated. This will take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. While the mushrooms cook away, I'm going to toast a third of a cup of walnuts in a dry pan over medium heat. I like to break them up into smaller pieces with my hands and then shake them around in the pan for about 3-4 minutes or until they're fragrant and golden. I then transfer them to the food processor bowl and I pulse this as well for 3-4 times until it has a crumbly texture but be careful not to make a flour. At this stage usually the mushrooms have cooked off nicely and as you can see there's no more liquid left in the pan. So I transfer the mushroom mixture into the food processor bowl as well along with the walnuts. And to add more flavor to the mix I'm adding in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast as well as half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. These two things just bring it together for me and I also make sure to season with salt as needed. Then I pulse the mixture for a couple times more in the food processor, which gives me a chunky texture. But if you want a smooth pate, you can just keep pulsing or blend on auto until it's smooth. Now the pate is ready to serve and it's really yummy eaten straight away or at least the same day. But it does also make a yummy sandwich spread the next day. When I serve this as canapes on top of crackers, I like to add a little sprig of rosemary just to garnish it a little bit and bring some green to the brown. You can't really go wrong with a pop of color. This pate is best eaten straight away, so keep that in mind if you want to make it for a get together. And you could totally serve it family style in a little bowl with crackers around so that everyone can grab their own. Or you can do what I did and put a cornell or a little bit onto a cracker or many crackers and then people can just grab the cracker. But this concludes my canapé video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you want to try the recipes. As always, I will link them down below if you want to see them written out and uh, I wish you all a happy new year. I will see you in the new year so take care everyone. Enjoy!